Hey, it's Dustin, and today I'm going to answer the question, can you use ChatGPT to make a video game in a game engine like Godot or Unity with little to no programming experience? Uh, spoiler alert, the answer is no, but I'm going to walk you through why that's been my experience so far. So if you saw my first devlog video, you know that I've done like a couple of introductory Godot courses. So I'm pretty familiar with like the basic nodes in Godot. Uh, like in terms of like static body, rigid body, uh, what are the other ones, like uh, character body, 2D, how to place cameras and stuff like that, and a little bit of the scripting. So I thought that I'd be ready to kind of hop in and make my own Pac-Man style game. That seems simple enough, right? And I was going to use uh, ChatGPT to help me with all the coding aspects. Didn't quite work out, uh, but let's show you kind of like the final product that I've got so far. So if I open the scene and then I will uh, I gotta switch this over to show you it. Uh, so I should do, nope, that's not it. Bear with me here. There we go. Okay, so this is my Pac-Man game that I made. Uh, so I made it so it's like Bart Simpson, and then I wanted the ghosts to be like Chief Wiggum. Didn't quite work out like that. So I've got the debug mode on so you can see the collisions here. I'm going to explain that in a second. So I figured out how to get him to move and stuff. That's fine. I wanted this ghost to uh, pathfind towards my player character. That didn't end up working out. And for some reason, I can't get any of the collision to work. So you see this. So I tried making this uh, a rigid body. I tried making Bart a character body 2D. Um, nothing seems to work. So if I close this, uh, I think I'm going to have to like resize this. Sorry. There's going to be a lot of like shifting around in this video, I think. So over here, we've got like, where is he? Is Bart boy. Okay. So we've got like the uh, collision. Everything is on the correct collision layer and mask they're all on layer one so that should be working i like tried to troubleshoot with chat gpt i couldn't figure it out uh, i used chat gpt to make this navigation region 2d and then there's a navigation agent 2d on the enemy so he can walk around inside of this theoretically the enemy's got this script attached i don't know if i can really make this like larger so you can see it maybe i'll like hide my face as well. Uh, so this is like what ChatGPT ended up making for my uh, enemy script. So he should, this took a lot of troubleshooting too, by the way, uh, because it was giving me outdated information that was for, I think for like Godot 3 instead of Godot 4. So that was like a whole challenge. Uh, so that's that script. And then on Bart boy, we've got this script. This is just, a, I asked ChatGPT to make a basic movement script. So we've got the speed, we've got the, uh, inputs for the arrow keys in the direction position equals direction times Delta, whatever to like normalize the frame rate or whatever. But, uh, for whatever reason, this didn't work out. So I'm going to hop over to uh, ChatGPT and I'll show you kind of what I did to make the art using the new Dolly 3 and also how I tried to script this and failed. Uh, so this is what I made at first. I said uh, Pac Man, but it's Bart Simpson's head, concept art, pixel art, open mouth, closed mouth. So I wanted to get like one that was open, one that was closed, and I was hoping they would make variations on it like that. It didn't quite do that. So these are the first four images that it made. Pretty cool, but not really what I was going for. So I said, please remove the backgrounds. Just make it Bart Simpson as Pac-Man with transparent or plain background. Use an 8-bit style. Do not include ghosts, Pac-Man map, or any other details. Provide two variants for each image, one with a closed mouth and one with an open mouth. Again, I was trying to get the uh, so that I could animate it but that didn't work out. So then I got these. It only gave me three out of four images and said, I apologize. I didn't get the uh, requests. Then to make the ghosts, I said, 
a ghost enemy from the game Pat Man, but it's the head of Chief Wiggum from The Simpsons using 8-bit art style that can be used as pixel art in a video game, transparent or no background. Uh, here's the art design, so I ended up going with, like, I forget which of those two I went with. So that's the ghost that I made. So the art's simple enough. I'm going to have another video about Dolly 3 prompts coming up, so stay tuned for that. But, uh, I... Spoiler alert, I've improved at this, so I can create better images now. But I still don't know if I'd be able to get, like, two sprites, one with an open mouth, one with a closed mouth kind of thing. I was also really lazy, and I didn't even, like, bother to edit the backgrounds out of these, but uh, it is what it is. So, all of the coding stuff we can go through. Uh, I didn't really look too much into the collision, because I think somebody in the comments is just going to be like, oh yeah, you just click this box that you missed, even though you looked for everything for like two hours and wasn't able to find it. But yeah, I'm sure there's like some really simple solution that I mixed for why the collision is not working. But anyways, I said, I'm making a 2D game in Godot. The game is similar to the classic game Pac-Man. Please help me create a player script for my character body 2D. Write the script using GD script. Character just needs to move up, down, left, and right. And so ChatGPT said, certainly, here's the script, la la la. And it also gave me these instructions, so I need to input the actions. So I go into like the project settings and do the input map. That's all fine and super helpful. So I said, I received an error for the last line of code, move and slide, direction times speed. It says, sorry for the oversight. It looks like you're using a different type of node or there's been changes to the version of Godot that you're using. So if I was going to do this again, I think maybe I would use Godot 3 just because ChatGPT is drawing from information that's a couple of years old. So I think if I did that, I'd run into less of these issues. But I was like, you'll see I constantly had to like correct it. Okay, so I said, uh, I'm trying to make a rigid body 2D object that we use to create the walls for the maze in my game. However, when my character body 2D collides with them, they get pushed. I want them to stay stationary so the player runs into them but can't move them. What setting should I change? Either in rigid body 2D or collision shape 2D to achieve this. So uh, in the inspector, I tried to turn the weight up to like 9999 kilograms. That didn't work. So then I went to chat GBT. Uh, so it says you need to change the property to mode static. Here's how you do that. It gave me like a line of code. I said, okay, I changed the wall to static body 2D instead. Now my character is going through it, even though it has collision shape 2D attached. How do I enable collision? Uh, if your character is passing through static body 2D, even though both have collision shape 2D attached, here's a couple of common reasons and solutions. So verify layers and masks. I did that. Verify the collision shapes. I did that. You can see that when I ran the the scene, check for script-based overrides. I don't think there's anything in my little player movement script that would do that. And then there's like debugging. You can enable visible collision shapes. So I did that. I could see the shapes. They should have been colliding. Z indexes. I didn't do this, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, so I said, I want to create, and I just gave up on that at that point. So I moved on to the enemy. I said, I want to create an enemy that pathfinds and moves towards the player character. What type of nodes should I use to create this enemy in Godot? Help me write a skip script to attach to the node that'll make the enemy pathfind to the player while avoiding walls and other obstacles. So it gave me all this step-by-step -step instructions for setting up the navigation system and this all went fine. So I set this up. I set up the enemy to use the uh, navigation 2D. I scripted the enemy with all this stuff. And this is where it starts really going off the rails. So I said, I'm using Gitto 4.1 and kinematic body 2D doesn't appear to be an option anymore. Please find an alternate option using character body 2D or rigid body 2D. So it says, I apologize for the oversight in Gitto 4.1. The kinematic body 2D has been renamed to character body 2D. So I think if I did this again as well, I would like explicitly say at the start, I'm making this game in Godot 4.1 and then maybe it would not make all these outdated assumptions. I'm not sure about that though. We'd have to see. So it gives me all this code and then I say, there's no navigation 2D in Godot 4.1. My options are navigation link, navigation obstacle, navigation region or navigation agent. So it says, I apologize for the oversight in Godot 4.1, blah, blah, blah. Navigation has been revamped. So we got to redo all this. I uh, get an error on this line. Here's the error. So it 
try to help me fix that. Uh, I said, should the path to the player boot node be the name I assigned to my rigid body 2D? So, for example, if I name the player rigid body 2D called Bart Boy, would the correct path be dollar assigned Bart Boy, or do I need to type the path to the actual file under a res with like the slashes and stuff? And said I could just use dollar sign Bart Boy, so that was fine. I also tried it with the path. That also didn't work. Then I got another error. I tried to correct that. Uh, I've done all the stuff above and I'm still getting invalid index global position on base null instance. And it says, so this error indicates the script is trying to like access a position that it can't find for my Bart Boy player character, blah, blah, blah. On this line, I'm getting an error. Gave me a fix for that. I said, now I'm getting another error. So. Uh, and then I got another error, new error function callable, not found in base self. So then I was like having to correct all this code as well. I'm still getting an error. I was like having to constantly fix all this stuff. And that's when I just gave up. So, uh, if you think it's as simple as using chat GPT to code a game, it's not. So I, I've got to go back to the drawing board now. I'm going to do a whole bunch more tutorials and then I might have like the overall sense of how Gitto works that I can kind of like see, oops, sorry, I hit that. Uh, I'll be able to see like what ChatGPT is trying to do. And then if it says something wrong, I'll be able to troubleshoot it. But the problem is ChatGPT is constantly giving me bad code and bad information about Gitto right now that's outdated for 4.1. So, and I don't know how to like troubleshoot it when that happens. So uh, I got to go back to the drawing board before I'm able to just make a game with code, unfortunately. So I'm going to go through, I've got that humble bundle of all of those, uh, Gitto courses that I can work through from Zenva. So I'm going to do that. I think there's like a Udemy course as well for making like a vampire survivors type game that I'm going to try and do as well at some point. So that's my next steps, uh, with game dev. So the next video I'm probably going to have something after I've done all the tutorials. I don't even know. But at this point, I can't even make like a Pac-Man game. Maybe I could do Pong. I'm thinking it would be simple enough that I could create it myself, but Pac-Man is obviously too difficult. I can't get like the enemy pathing and stuff down. So I just got to give up and go back to the tutorials for now. So probably kind of a boring video, just looking through all the code and all the errors that I got. Uh, if you do know what went wrong with a collision, let me know. Uh, maybe I didn't show enough for that to be a thing, but if it is, please take a look and let me know. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you. I'm going to have some more videos about more like chat GPT focused stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. See ya.